Welcome back everyone. It's good to have you here today. We're gonna to be looking at still finding products to sell on Amazon. If that's your struggle right now, you're in the right place. Let's get something started. My goal is to help as many people on this planet as possible. People that are positive, people wanting a positive change in their life, people wanting to start afresh, finding hot and trending products to sell online, and people wanting to make a positive impact for their family. Welcome back guys, it's good to have you here. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at doing Amazon research. So actually finding um, Amazon listings or products on Amazon that are currently selling, but actually improving that product and making it better in some way, shape or form, or be basically making the listing better. So actually marketing it a little bit better. So let me just give you an example, right? I'm on my computer screen right here. I'm on the database research tool. Now you can sort of see here under the min and max, right? I put the price, the 30 bucks to $100, so they're the impulse buying ranges. That's where um, basically a lot of sales are made. If your sale, if it's less than $30, you don't make a whole bunch of money. And if it's more than $100, usually it's not gonna be an impulse buy. Usually they're gonna have to start comparing the products to another product or ask permission from somebody else before they purchase or make their, make their um, buying decision, all right? We want no more than 300 reviews. Estimated sales, we want a minimum 300 sales happening per month. Number of sellers, no more than 50. The weight, no more than three pounds, right? So that's ideal. Too heavy, it's gonna cost you a fortune in shipping, right? So that's why you wanna keep it below the three pound limit. Now you can see down here, this stands for listing quality score. What that basically means is every listing is given a score, right? So if your score, if your score is quite high, so for example, nine, 10, it means you are killing it. It means you've nailed it. It means you know exactly what you're doing, right? You might have the best images on there. You might have, you might be, you know, you might have the best copy on there, the best bullet points, the great headlines, the good keywords, right? It's all optimized, right? That's why you're killing it, right? If you have a listing that's like, a listing quality score of like one, it means you need help, right? So you need software like this, right? So what I've done is I've typed in six, all right? So I'm looking for listings and Amazon products out there that have no more than a listing quality score and the listing quality score is out of 10, right? And I'm gonna click search, okay? And I'm gonna wait for the results to come in. All right, so it's kind of like a grade, you know, when you're given when you're in school and they say you're, you're, you know, two out of 10, it means that you need a bit of work, right? But if you're 10 out of 10 or nine out of 10, it basically means you're doing pretty decent, all right? It's the same thing goes with this. Amazon and uh, certain software give these listings a score based on their images, the keyword optimization, the sales, um, that kind of thing. All right, so you can sort of see here, I've loaded up the screen, so it's given me all these different results of listing quality um, less than six, right? So I'm gonna scroll through and I'm gonna see if a product jumps out. Boom, a product jumped out at me, right? This is a open top paddle magazine, a hand cuff case, all right? So let's just click on this. I'm just gonna show you this, right? So, okay. So it's basically, it looks like a pleather sort of case. Is it pleather? Yeah, it looks like it, right? Now you notice this, it's a very simple listing, all right? So it's selling for 44 bucks, the fee is 12 bucks, $32 net, not too bad, right? It's only nine people selling this particular product, right? 309 sales per month, doing 13,000 US dollars, right? Weighs nothing, look at that, weighs absolutely nothing, all right? It's got 237 reviews and Let's have a look at the listing quality score. It is six. Let's have a look at the exact listing. I'm gonna give this a click, right? I wanna see the exact listing. I wanna see how this looks. If I was interested in buying a handcuff, right? You know, maybe I was, I was about to do patrols or maybe I was gonna shake it up in the bedroom, whatever the reason is, right? If I was looking for this particular product, let's see whether or not I would be influenced in buying this particular product, right? So you can sort of see here, it's got three images, right? All images have got the clear, boring, basic white background. Now the first image, which is called the parent image, it needs to have the boring white background, right? So this one right here, right? Let's just have it, yeah, okay. I can't even zoom in on that particular product. Yeah, the first image, I should be able to zoom in on the particular product and it's very boring. The second one is as boring, right? It's kind of like watching soap operas, right? And this one, same sort of thing. So. Very, very basic listing. Look at this, look at this headline. Not much to the headline. It's very basic, isn't it? It's not really giving much keywords in there. It's not really describing the product. Combination of a single magazine holder, handcuff punch, uh, pouch, 
uh, fits up to. So it's, it's not really being that descriptive. It's not really selling it to me. Okay, uh, where's the description? Okay, yes, yeah, so it's got a little bit there. It looks like they're actually registered for enhanced brand content or A plus content. And still they're doing a terrible job of doing it right. So this particular listing, let me ask you a question. Can you improve this listing in some way, shape or form? Can you have better images? Maybe someone using the handcuffs, maybe somebody, maybe a better image, like as in uh, the, an action shot, right? It could be uh, an, an actual uh, infographic with more details describing the product, you know, pointing to specific things. Let me show you an example, right? Let me show you an example. Let's just go through here. Uh, let me bring up some of these particular products. Let's see if they're doing a better a better job, right? So you can sort of see here, these are baby gates, right? So I could zoom in there, beautiful. It's a clear white background, I can zoom in, so it's good pixels. Lifestyle shot, okay? Boom, zoom in shot, right? Okay, an action shot. There you go, another action shot. And they've even got a video, right? Let's look at this one. Okay, another video, again, action shots, okay? They've made it interesting, right? Whereas this one, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Here we go. It's boring, all right? But guess what? Running the numbers, they're still doing okay. They're still actually doing pretty good numbers, right? So you might be wondering, well, Alex, they're doing, yeah, they're doing 15K. You can sort of see there, right? They're actually doing, they're not doing too bad, right? So the listing quality score is five, five and six, right? So they're actually doing, uh, so the listing needs work, but they're actually making money. So it means there's an opportunity for someone like you to come around and basically take a product and just make it better. You don't, need to, you don't need to change the product in any way at all. You just need to improve the marketing of that product. Better images, better headlines, better bullet points, better descriptions, put a video in there, put lifestyle shots, put like more images. You can have seven images here. They've only used three, all right? So let's go back to the baby gate example, right? So let's just have a look here. So. Um, these are baby gates. I'm going to run the numbers on these baby gates. I'm going to show you another example, right? So it's brought up the numbers. Now I'm going to look at the LQS on the side of the screen. You can see that right there. Let me just scroll down. So you've got seven, eight, seven. Okay, let's have a look here. So they're actually doing some pretty decent numbers, right? Again, there's a area for improvement, right? So let's just scroll over this one and this one. So this one here, it's a listing quality score of five, okay. It's doing 70,000 US a month. It is 7,000 reviews. And look at that. Let's have a look at this image. How basic is that image? Look at that. You can't get any more basic than that, okay. Very basic image. They're doing 70,000 a month. Now let's go to someone who's actually doing some big volume, right? 354,000. Wow, look at that image. Okay, look at that image, incredible, right? So the point is guys, can you improve the marketing some way, shape or form of existing products that are selling really well on Amazon right now? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Thanks for watching. Also, if you're interested in getting something started on Amazon, connect with us today. Give us a call in the office. The numbers are below this video. If you like this video, I would love you to like it, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you're looking for help, Maybe you're in need of hot product ideas. Maybe you are looking for guidance. Maybe you're looking for workshop. We run workshops uh, regularly, live events where you can come along, bring your laptop. We find products in the room. We find suppliers in the room and we actually can list products on Amazon in the room as well.